All right, let's compare AI versus generative AI. First, starting with AI. So what is AI? It is computer systems that perform tasks typically requiring human intelligence. This includes problem solving, decision making, understanding natural language, recognizing speech and images. Um, and the AI's goal is to interpret, analyze, and respond to human actions to simulate human intelligence in machines. And I create a large emphasis on the word simulate because it's not emulating. So simulate is where we are mimicking aspects resembling the behaviors of humans or other things. Emulation is when we're actually replicating exact processes and machines. It's the real virtualization of the, the human mind. And you could say that's pretty much AGI, so the artificial general intelligence. But um, the point is, is that AI is a simulation, not an emulation. AI applications are vast and includes areas such as expert systems, natural language processing, speech recognition, robotics, and more. Um, for industries, it's across the board. If you're talking about B2C, everyone's probably experienced a customer service chatbot. I hate them, but that is uh, probably the number one use for uh, gener or AI. Uh, we have e-commerce, so recommendation systems. So think like using Amazon and maybe it's using AI there and you're not aware of it. Uh, autonomous driving vehicles, uh, medical diagnostics. So lots of verticals there for different industries. Let's talk about generative AI. So generative AI is a subset of AI focusing on creating new content or data that is novel and realistic. It can interpret or analyze data, but also generates new data itself. It often involves advanced machine learning techniques. So we got our GANs, our VAEs, our GPTs, like the transformer models. And we're gonna be talking about transformers, not uh, Autobots and Decepticons, but actual uh, architecture for LLMs. I really should throw in some, uh, some of those. If they weren't copyright, I would have them in there. Uh, Generai has multiple modalities. And if you've never heard the word modalities, think of it like senses. You know, you have vision, you have touch, you have taste, things like that. So for Genii, we have uh, things for vision, for text, for audio, right? Uh, and there are some odd ones like molecular. So something that generative eye can do is it can do dr a, d a drug discovery via uh, genomic data. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Um, and a lot of people associate generative AI with large language models, which generate out human-like text and is a subset of Gen.AI, but it's often conflated with being AI due to it being the most popular and developed. And it has strong correlation to the text modality because they usually do that. But um, uh, large language models can be multimodal. Uh, meaning that they can work across multiple modalities, but it's mostly text. So let's just sum this up and make sure we know the distinction between AI and Gen AI. So AI is focused on understanding decision making. Gen AI is about creating new and original outputs. That doesn't mean that Gen AI can't do the, the former, but it has that added benefit of generation. For data handling, it AI analyze, analyzes and makes decisions based on existing data. Gen AI uses existing data to generate new data and unseen outputs. For applications, um, AI is generally more applicable because, you know, it just is. Whereas Gen AI is very focused on creative, uh, uh, innovative generation of synthetic stuff. Um, and I, I don't know, that M threw me off there. It's not supposed to be there. But I think you understand the distinction between the two. And there you go.